we're going through a walk around the outside of your trailer first with everything on your boondock trailer. You know, your handle, there's your door lock. You got a little trash can, open and close lever. You get a screen here, a blind here. And then this is your screen door that pulls out of the track here. The step just folds up and back like that. It comes out like that. And then as we come cool around the trailer more, here's your 110 outlets. Here is your access door for storage underneath the bed. And then back in here is your battery disconnect and there's also a light for the storage compartment. This just closes like so. It's magnetic, you can get it down, and those levers just close it down and lock it like that. Okay, this is just a vent for the waste tanks. As we come around this side, this is the exhaust for your old heating system. This is where your power cord will attach. It just twists and pulls off. We use this so we don't end up with your cord when it's here. But yours is inside, and we'll see that when we go through the inside of the trailer. Here's your outside shower. This is your city water connection and where you fill your gray water tank, or your fresh water tank. There's a little switch here, turn the light on. This is your black tank front flush, so when you're dumping your toilet, you hook this on a dump station and washes around. That turns your water pump on. Uh, but you have to have these in your sanitized, winterized city dry camp or portable tank. So it's got all your positions and it's all color coded. All you gotta do is match it up with the picture. Cable TV inlet and auxiliary antenna, okay? And then here are your two low level line drains right here. Also on the back, there's four jacks on the trailer. Right here, and the wrench is inside. We'll show you where it is. You got one on each of the corners of the trailer. Here's your waste tank, valves. Black is for your black tank. Gray is for your gray water tank. You can hook the take the cap off here. Okay. And then you hook your sewer hose on. You dump your black one first, and then you dump your gray water tank so that it rinses the hose out. So now we'll go, and this is your air conditioner exhaust. Now we'll go to the inside of the trailer. Okay, now we're going through items on the inside of the trailer. So this sink top opens like so. Faucet comes up like that. This goes hot and cold. You won't get any water though until you turn the valve this way. This, this direction determines your volume of water. Up and down is your hot and cold volume, okay? Then we put it down to close up. Here's a 110 outlet. That's where your ground fault reset is. This is our stove. Now you notice this won't come down. You have to lift it up to bring it down because it locks in place so that it doesn't fall back on you. But you also have to lift it up, unlock it to bring it forward. Now to light the stove burner, you turn this to the light position, push that in. Okay. And then you just push the little lighter down here in the center and that'll light your burner. Once it's going for 30 seconds, you let it out, and you can turn it to whatever setting you need. That shuts it off. Again, don't just pull it down, lift it up, drops down. Now in the window that's here, you got a shade screen that comes down, okay? Now when we go to open the windows, there's four latches here. One, two, these red buttons must be pushed to open these windows here. Those open like so. And then once it's out, you set this knob wherever you want the window, and then put your blind or your screen or both in place. Now when you close them, you can put this in a first notch, and that'll give you an air gap if you want air while it's raining out, but your travel position needs to be like that so you don't get water in. As we progress down, here are the two keys for your trailer. They're both identical. Now, on the TV, you use a little loop here. You must depress that, that releases it, so the TV rotates around, so you can watch it from the dinette or from the bed here. But it must be locked back in for transport. 
Okay, now here's a bunch of other fun items here. We talked about where the power cord hooked on on the outside. This is where it plugs into the outside. It's 25 feet long. It's 30 amps. It won't plug in at home, so here's an adapter so it'll plug in at your house. We talked about the jacks outside. This is a crank that hooks onto the jacks on the outside. This is the cover that goes over the air conditioner for transport so the water doesn't come in the air conditioner and get anything wet on the floor. This is your sewer hose that hook on where that cap was on the outside. This is the filler piece that you use when you make that front item down into a bed. And we'll go through that when we get back to that position. While we're still in the galley area, you just push that in. Those are all your 110 circuit breakers for the 110 power, all the fuses for your 12 volt power. That just closes like so. All these cabinet doors have push button locks. Right now it's open. You push that in, that locks it for transport so it doesn't jiggle open while you're going down the road. Okay? Also now, <clears throat> here are some other items. This is the remote for the stereo. This is the remote for the TV. TV just goes boom, and you turn it on, and then you can plug in DVDs, stream movie. I guess you have to stream movies if you want. They took the DVD player out. It's all Bluetooth now. And then there's a separate remote for that. Now there's other things in this bag that you get from New Camp. You get this box. Okay, water pressure regularly to keep your pressure. Flashlight for nighttime use. The biggest thing is the microfiber cloth that's in here. You must use microfiber cloths to wipe the windows down. If you use paper towel, it will scratch the windows. Okay, now as you come over here, there's two lights. You push it once and you get a blue light. You hold it in, it becomes a bright white light for reading, but a blue light for nighttime. Okay, now over here is an accent light switch that turns your accent lights on. Another outlet here, but this is where your power inverter is, where you take the power off the battery to run your outlets. Okay, if you're not plugged in 110 power, it will not run the air conditioner, it will not run the microwave. Okay, again on the stereo, it has zones listed on it front and rear zone. So if you want to listen to music up there while somebody's sleeping, you don't have to disrupt them. Now, here's your refrigerator. Okay. You open this and it doesn't come open. You have to open the travel lock here. So this latches the top, travel lock latches the bottom here. Here's the controls right here. If you push that button, you see everything lights up. It's on gas right now. Automatic. Automatic goes gas 110 12 volt or you can change it to 110 we're not plugged in so it's flashing or you can go to battery and it'll switch over to battery okay we got the battery disconnect turned on so it doesn't show battery so we go back to gas we're all set this is a freezer it does have an ice cream tray now under the bed here are your fancy locks and more storage here, storage here. The area off to this side is screwed shut because that's where the boiler and everything is for all the heating system. We'll go through that in a separate video. In the bathroom, you have a sink that's in here that just pulls down. It has the same faucet as you had inside. Hot and cold, volume goes this way. We'll pull that back up out of your way. Here's your shower one. It's got your spray nozzle on it, so you got an on off button there. This thing controls the temperature here then. And again, volume is here. Temperature here. This is accent lighting in here. There's a shower curtain that tra travels on the track here. Uh, this is just a pretty stream hole vent. It just opens by turning like so, pushing the button like that. Now on the toilet, it's even simpler. Okay, there's a chemical here you should use. Okay, and this is a foot flush. Should you flush that with your foot, everything washes down. Minimum water use, if you want more water, lift that up. It will let more water into the bowl. 
toilet paper dispenser that's waterproof. Okay, now as we come along here, here's your outside shower connector for that outside shower that we came across. Now, when you make this into a bed, there's a couple things you gotta do. Let's get that out of the way so it'll be easier to see. Normally you wouldn't take this much out of here, but we'll do it so it's easier for you to follow. Okay, there's a push button here that releases and a push button here that releases the table. You lift it up, you push this lever, locks in place, just unhooks, and hooks on the track. That's right here. And then you just put your cushions into place. You got a storage compartment here. There'll be gas smoke detector there. And more outlets down here. 12 volt USB charging. Master control panel. This turns the sink lights on, other accent lights on, turns the water pump on, outside porch light. And then your battery, fresh water, black water, gray water. Here's your air conditioning control. You just turn that on. Fan speed, high or low. And then it'll allow you to go to temperature. So you set it at what temperature you want. Now, this is for the Aldi system. Turn that on. Hang on, let's close the door here so it isn't so much sunlight on us. There we go. Now, menu. You see you got house, that's for heat. Shower head, that's for hot water. Okay, so if you want to heat, you set the temperature at what you want. Then if you want hot water, you just push no hot water. So if you're just using it for heat, but if you want hot water, and then you got one kilowatt or two kilowatts. If you're plugged into 30 amp service, you can use two kilowatts. If you're on 15, you can only use one. If you're not gonna use electric at all, turn that off and turn your LP gas on. Here's your setting section. Don't go into there unless you read the complete Aldi owner's manual. If you go in there, you're just asking for trouble. The Aldi system does require between two and three years to have the fluid changed. Um, but that's nothing major.